Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to design a pizza banner. You know, designing is fun. If you want to have fun with me, let's get into the system. All right. Okay. All right. First of all, the first thing for you to do is to press Ctrl N. A new document, and uh, the dimension we're going to be using for this design is eight by four inches. All right. We already have eight by four inches. The resolution should be three hundred pixels per inch. Um, color mode should be CMYK. So once you are done with this setup, the next thing is to create. All right. Now we unlock the background. Blind the layer and create our own background. We create our own background. Now, once we create our own background, we have to change the color. Go to fill, gradients, and we we'll change this to orange. Change this to orange. All right. Then make this light orange. Make this light orange, then change the angle to change this to minus 90. All right, then drag this in a bit. Okay, I think this is it. I have it. All right, so the next thing for us to do is to go get other elements we're going to be using for this design. All right, okay, so this is it. Okay, before we come to this point. Let's go. Let's get the the table that we are going to be dropping the pizza on. Drag it into your composition. Once it drops, then we scale, holding down shift and alt. Scale it to fit. Okay. Then drag this up. Meanwhile, this image of the table. I got it from 3P, so if you want to get it, you can get it from 3P. I'll also leave a link in the description for you to get this table. Alright, so I check it, double clicking on it or check here. Now, after that, right click on the layer of the table, pressurize it, and get your um, magic wand to get your magic wand to and select the white background and hit the delete. Alright, press Ctrl D to deselect. The next thing for us to do is to get your rectangular uh, mapping tool and uh, select the area of the table. All right, then position this well. Once we do that, come here, solid color, make it white. Okay, then reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. I think this is okay. So once we've done this, the next thing for us to do is we're going to bring our pizza into the composition. So drag this in. All right, scale it down a bit. Scale it down. Scale it up. A little bit. All right, once we've got this, we say okay. Now we're going to put our offset line so that we have a guide. All right, get a new guide layout. This is it. Now I can drag my pizza to get to the edge of the line. So align. All right, so let's push it in a bit. Then the next thing for us to do is to duplicate, okay, rasterize the layer. Right click on the layer of the visa, rasterize it, then Ctrl G, duplicate the one under, you press Ctrl T, then hold down Ctrl and drag it down. Drag it down, you can also drag this edge down. You want to create a shadow for this visa, so after this, you check it, then double click on the layer, then go to color overlay. Color overlay. Okay. So any color you change this into. So what we need for the shadow is black. So say okay. Then 
go to filter, go to blog, go to Goshen blog. You know, you reduce the radius to what you want. After, once you're done with it, once you're done with it, you can, once you've gotten the radius you want, once you've gotten the radius you want, you can say, okay. Then you can reduce the opacity of your shadow. So it doesn't, it's not too thick. All right. Now the next thing for us to do is to get the, we're going to have two pizza here. This is going to be the biggest, this is going to be the big one. Then we're going to get the smaller pizza. So go back to where we have the pizza, drag this in, and drop it to your composition, scale it down. And scale it down. Then the next thing for us to do is to move the layer on top of the bigger pizza. Okay. Then control T, change the, pers the perspective. Okay. Once we do that, the next thing for us to do is to duplicate it, control J, the one under. Okay, let's personalize it. Then press control T, go down control and drag it down. We're still going to press. Uh, Creating a shadow for it too. So check it, double click here. So go back to layer style, color overlay. Color overlay. Alright. Say so, okay. Now go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. Then reduce the radius. Okay. Increase it a bit more. Say so, okay. Then reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. Okay. Reduce the opacity. Okay. I think we need to reduce the opacity of the shadows more. Okay, this is this. Then reduce this more. Okay. Now we have gotten it. Alright, the next thing we're going to um, write is the caption of this banner, which is Really hot pizza. So first of all, we're going to write pizza. Pizza. Then we're going to we're going to use phonic sound for this font to make it a bit playful. Yeah, that's the reason for the font. Want it to be a bit playful. So we use comic sound. Okay. So let's change the color to white. Change the color to white. Alright, then duplicate this by holding down Alt and drag. Then the right filling. Hot. Check it. Press Ctrl T. Scale it down. Scale it down. Scale it down. All right. So back here. Now we're going to write. The next we're going to write is. Uh, the best options of the day in your town. The best options of the day in your town. The best options of the day in your town. All right. Let's control T, scale it down. Okay, we're going to change this font to maybe something like um, Swiss. Let's make it Swiss. Okay, so this is good. Please control T, scale it up a bit. This is good. Now we've gotten this. 
Now, there's another thing we have to do. Let me select the background, then go to shape, go to custom shape. Let's put like something like a pattern. Let's create something like a pattern in the background. Let's create it. Let's create the shape. Okay. Control T, scale it up, scale it up, check. Alright, it has the same gradient effect with the, as the background. Okay, it has the same gradient effect as the background. So, what we're going to do is to reduce the opacity. Let's reduce the opacity. Okay, and this is not bad. Let's bring it to one of these. And this is good. Then increase the opacity a bit more. Okay, this is it. Select both of them, change the color to orange. Change the color to orange. You click on the layer of the pizza, then drop shadow. So you think this is the size of the drop shadow you want, you leave it at this. If not, you can adjust, take it up or down, increase the, reduce the spread or increase it, distance, move, up, move the distance, or bring it back. So this is exactly what I want. I say, okay. So now I've gotten this outline I copy right click on the layer of the pizza and say copy layer style then for the killy hot I select the clay hot and right click on it and say paste layer style okay so we have this I select the killy hot pizza and the best option of the day okay I think there is a mistake here so the best option of of the day of the day in your account. Okay. So control T scale it down a bit. So select all the tests. Then press control T and slant it. Slant it. Right, this is it. Now the next thing for us to do is to um now this pizza, you can home delivery is free. Okay, so we want to put home free, free home delivery. We're going to include free home delivery. So go to custom shape. You'll get uh, something like cloud. Okay. Something like cloud. All right. Okay, so change the color to white. Change the color to white. Then we then write free home delivery. Okay. Change the color to orange. Okay. Then rename. And the T is fully done. Then increase the living space. Make it clear. Uh, possibly 14. Okay. Make the test bold. Let's scale it up a bit and so to scale it up a bit. Meanwhile, you can, meanwhile, you can 
increase the font, the size of your font from here. Okay, so but it's quite easier for me and faster to use Ctrl T than scale to what I want. All right, after this, the next thing for us to do is to get our rounded rectangle and create a banner. Make the color, change the color to orange. All right, then this is where we're going to write order now. Then we'll put the number to call under it. All right, so. The color of the best to white, and you can tell. Spell it down, Ctrl T. Okay, duplicate it by holding down Alt and dragging it down. Change the color of this one to orange. Then you can then press your number. So let's say. Four four four. I think four four four. I think four four four. Okay. So make the font regular color. Okay, let's make it Roman. Okay. Okay, reduce the thickness. Reduce the thickness of the font. Okay, this is it. So I can increase the font. This is it. Okay, let's try making it black and see how it looks like. Okay, let's try making it Okay. Now you can actually include your logo here. So I just go to custom shape, go to custom shape, get a shape that can serve as a shape of the logo. And it's here. Okay, so this is where you put your logo. Logo here. Okay. Change the color to white. Change the color of the text to white too. And the T, still it down. So this is it. Wow. Okay. I think our design is done. Kelly Hot Pizza, the best options of the day in your town. Order now. This is number to call free home delivery. All right. All right. I think we've come to the end of this design. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And if there is any comment or uh, anything you want to recommendation, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be glad to receive your comments. Thank you very much.